Cats versus Kitties. Hey Goldie Squad, it's Ruby. Time to charge up and tune in. It's time for Roll Up Runway! Roll Up Runway! Our first Goldie Squad maker is Lonnie. She wishes she had telekinesis, so she could sneakily mark up her grades if she doesn't get an A on her exam. Great backup plan. Today, she's rolling with a crew of Kens. They have really nice hair. Let's hope they spend some time perfecting their battle skills, too. Our second Goldie Squad maker is Helena. She wishes she had telepathy, because it would make court justice jobs way easier. Noble cause. Helena's rolling with the gang of her own. The Everglam Brats. The Kens better watch out, because these girls have killer style. Robot Runway has three rules. One, break your favorite toy and turn it into a robot. Two, show off your robot to our panel of Goldie Squad judges. Three, face off your robot in an epic battle. Or watch as your robot is swallowed by the pit of It's time to meet our robots. Now introducing the Ken Destroyer 2000. Let's hear what our judges have to say. Well. I love the idea behind this. I relate to it on a lot of levels. I'm conflicted though, because I want to see Ken in the goo, but I also want to see you succeed. Good job. Thank you. I hope, but I do want to see Ken in the goo. I'm so excited to see this robot. I think the arms instead of legs is deeply unsettling. I like that there's an upside down toothbrush on the top. You're gonna scrub your competition off the table. <laughs> What's the story behind it? The Ken dolls were flirting with Barbie, and then Barbie didn't like it, so then she destroyed the Ken dolls. And hence the Ken Destroyer 2000. Ken Destroyer destroys Ken's and also destroys the competition. I'm also digging how violent it is. I remember when you were building this and there was an additional Ken on there and we had to remove him so that this could move a little bit more. It seems like some of the weight even is still affecting it a little bit. So Lonnie, what are you going to do about all the weight on your robot? I'll just take the Ken dolls and leave the head. Goodbye. I do still like how much it's getting some good menacing wobble in there. It makes it harder to go into the slime. Great job. I'm excited to see it in action. Now it's time to meet Helena's robot, No Toes. Wow, I love this a lot. I love the guitar. I'm loving everything about this. I feel inspired by this robot. This robot is so menacing, and I love how she's gonna stand up regardless of not having feet. I love that of all the fearsome things about her, the fact that her name is then No Toes makes it even scarier. Why is this robot called No Toes? Because an angry mob cut off her feet. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that is very mob-like to cut off the toes, fingerprints, I get that. What did she do? I'm sorry, I have to know more. Uh, she's different, she has five eyes. And where are the other two eyes? On her hands. Thank you, no toes, you will haunt my dreams. That's a hero's story. Is that a smear of blood on her mouth? Well, it's, um, it's makeup. They started scaring her people, and so she dressed up to scare the mob away. Wow. She's also a master strategist. I also really, really like how ambitious you were with the electronics and how you put those LEDs in there. That's great. It's time for Robot Runway. Three, two, one, go! The no stone is coming up and she's ready to fight somebody. Lonnie, would you like to do the honor of dumping the bucket of fun? 